Hello everybody, and welcome to this ASMR video. I thought we'd do a little bit of a special video today. Now, uh, the chromatica ball is only about eight days away, I believe, from Lady Gaga's first appearance on the chromatica ball. So I thought we'd come out with some chromatica sensational funky effects and some weird glasses. Um, but it's kind of fucking up my, um, vision, so... Because they've got this, like, kaleidoscope effect, if you can see it on there. So, yeah, it looks quite peculiar to me. But anyway, we're here with another video, and today I wanted to talk about the chromatica ball. And here are my thoughts uh, on what we might get to experience, what I would like to see, you know, just my thoughts on what I want from the Chromatica Ball. Uh, I haven't actually seen anything online about what she's rumoured to do, I don't think there's much been posted. Maybe if there is, I'm completely unaware. I'm wearing my stupid love t-shirt also, but you can't really tell because it's a bit hard to see. Anyway, here are my thoughts. This is what I would like to see from the chromatic ball. I would like her to have well, I'm, pres I'm presuming she's going to have opening acts, so I'd like them to come on first, and then I'd like her to come on as Lady Gaga, and perform all of her pre-chromatica hits, you know, the ones like Bad Romance, Just Dance, we've got Applause, um, we've got million reasons if she wants to sing that again. You know what I mean, all the uh, Joanne Born This Way, Art Pop, um, the Fame Monster Hybrid, Cheek to Cheek maybe if she wants to throw that one in there, Love for Sale if she wants to throw that one in there, A Star is Born if she wants to throw that one in there. But, yeah, I wanted her to do that, and then come on, I wanted her to go off the stage as Lady Gaga, and then come back on the stage in this chromatic universe, and it's like, because in previous tours she's uh, done the hits part way throughout the, say, let's say the art rave, She's done, she opened with art pop tracks and then she went into her other album songs. But with Chromatica, I just think that because it blends so well, and I think there's a story arc to Chromatica that there hasn't been in any of her previous um, albums, I think it just makes sense that she. I think it just makes sense that she goes from the start track of Alice, or technically Chromatica 1, original, all the way into... I'm just going to see if I can move this without it falling. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, so we've had a change of color. Gosh, I hope that's not too distracting. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you can't even really tell where I am. Right. I'm getting sidetracked here. This is what happens. I just get sidetracked into weird shit. Right, so yeah, I would like to come on singing Chromatica. Well, I technically can't sing that. Uh, but come on with Chromatica introduction. Have it some sort of spacey, otherworldly Chromatica introduction. And then move into each song in the sequence that it comes on the album. So that it blends the way that it does on the album. I don't know if I'll turn that into a thumbnail. Probably not because I'm so lazy, but whatever. Yeah. I just think it makes sense for her to do that. She's never done an album like Chromatica before where it is, it just transitions like the transition from Chromatica. <coughs> Apologies. The, the transition from Chromatica 2 to 911. Even songs towards the end of the album have got a transition. Like, like the rainforesty sound and there's just I just feel like the songs should be in the sequence I don't want no switching up no special bloody blahs but I think she's probably not going to sing every song from Chromatica so I would be okay if she put like parts of Dawn of Chromatica in there you know, it's like, she needs to go have a costume change, or the stage needs to change up, whatever. So she could go off stage, and instead of, say, let's just say, for example, she doesn't want to sing Free Woman, or for whatever reason, she needs a break, and Free Woman is the song that they're going to not perform. They could replace her performing that, and then play the audio to the Dawn of Chromatica version of Free Woman with Arena. Oh, this is an example. Uh, also, by the way, I really fucking love that uh, track, Free Woman, Dawn of Chromatica version. It's just very powerful, very anthemic. And if she wasn't going to do it in sequence, I think that it would be amazing if she opened with that. I don't know. There's just something about the first few seconds is just so powerful the sonic energy of that is just amazing and I would like there to be a lot of lights such as this oh okay then okay then girl I see what you're doing there. Ah, red. Oh my gosh, she's got a red dot on me. Oh, it's a laser, 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 laser. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I like this actually. So, those are just some of my thoughts. I don't know. I just felt like making a video about this. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I should have planned this. I should have. Like, my whole life is just a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, I'm going to still upload this anyway. And uh, you can either enjoy it or not enjoy it. It's up to you. If you don't, if you're not enjoying it, 
why are you watching it? This doesn't make any sense, does it? Um, thanks for watching this messy video. I'm gonna bid you farewell. Hurrah.